Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to maintain a simplified financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Well, hello everyone and happy Monday to you. I hope that your weekend was really, really wonderful. What is that? I felt something tickling me and it was a piece of my own hair on my shoulder. But in Texas, it could be a spider. You don't know. That wants to suck your brains out. Anyways, hi everyone. <laughs> hope you had a good weekend. We did. We took the kids to the beach on what? Saturday? Saturday. And it was really nice. We relaxed. I got through a book and half of one. I just finished reading The Nightingale. So it's a book by Kristen Hanna. And I actually did post it over in my stories on Instagram um, a, few a few days back. And it was such a fantastic read. Um, Really, really well written. The character development was good. The story was great. I was sitting there at the pool with one of my with my kids one of the days this past week and just like bawling at chapter 21. Anyways, and then I moved on to another book that was less impressive, but I won't discuss that one. Anyways, I'm done rambling. It wasn't great. No, it, it was a little, dis it left a lot to be desired. Um, and Mr. Simple had a good Father's Day. Would, can I can I speak for you on that one? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I made you a cheesecake. That's right. I still hasn't eaten it, but we it's had... It's a big cheesecake. It's a huge cheesecake. It's a 10-inch one. I've mentioned the this cheesecake recipe before on my channel, but I will go ahead and leave the recipe linked for you below. It is the Martha Stewart Simple New York Style Cheesecake, and I have no clue why it rates the way that it does. I think it only gets like a 3.7 out of 5 stars. I'm like, I think everybody's making it wrong. It's but, better than any restaurant cheesecake. The way you make it is better than any restaurant cheesecake. It's the best cheesecake. It's the best. Anyway, it's the best cheesecake. So um, now that I've rambled about everything except for budgeting and cash stuffing, let's get into it, shall we? I am stuffing $961 today. So I'm going to go ahead and give this cash account and then we will get into the rest of the video. Wish me luck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 900, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Look at that. 18 months later, I can finally count. That's right. How we much was that? $961. You didn't hear me? No. Clearly not. You're not paying attention. The silence is deafening. <laughs> so you're just going to click to fill the silence? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Over there, messing with the spreadsheet. All right, well, first up, I am gonna jump into my wallet. I haven't done this in a few cash stuffings, but my wallet is way down with extra change, so I definitely needed to get that out. Um, I have I have a little bit of grocery rollover. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. I'll have to tell you about that because it's gonna impact your spreadsheet. Um, but in addition to that, I also scanned these receipts into a variety of different cashback apps that I use on my phone. If you're interested in them, I always leave my referral links for these things listed below. If you use my referral link, I will get bonus points or coins depending on which app you sign up for, uh, but you also get them when you sign up as well. It's basically just accruing points with receipts that you scan and sometimes you get extra points depending on what kind of products you buy. So it's definitely worth looking into if you shop. <laughs> at grocery stores or anywhere pretty much. There's also one for gasoline 
as well for your car down below. And that one's a fave of mine as well. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back here. This is rollover. The ones are gonna go into the dollar savings challenge. The five will go into the grocery envelope because holy smokes. Oh, let me grab this. Y'all haven't seen this in quite some time, but look at all this change. Oh, 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 I'm catching Bounce it. Everywhere. I know, I'm not catching it, I mean. Oh, good grief. Somebody left their change, some of this change. That, look at this. This is like a, a decent amount of change. Somebody left their change at Kroger. They just left it sitting in the self-checkout machine, which I don't like to use, by the way, because I think that it justifies hiring machines instead of people. But I used it, and there was change in the little change thing. So you better be darn sure I put that in my wallet. She stole it? No, that person was long gone. It wasn't even like, oh, there was somebody there that I was waiting on. I just walked up to it because it was completely unoccupied and mm -hmm. that change was sitting there. I'm not going to give it to Kroger. They have plenty of money. I am trying to save up an emergency fund. Anyways, and now we will jump in. So first up is our high priority sinking funds. And first up in that is grocery. I'm going to grab this $5 that we had in rollover. And today I am stuffing $475. So let me just grab this here. So one, two, three, 54, I guess 20, 40. I did three tens. Why do I do what I do? Can you, can you help make sense of it? I've been wondering that for years. <laughs> Don't be snarky. Now in groceries, we've got 480 because I had five left over and I stuffed it with 475. Taxes is up next. It's getting stuffed this week. It's getting $10. So now in taxes, we have 120, 35, 45, 46. Texas is about to get a huge boost with my Etsy and YouTube stuffing at the end of the month. The amount of money that I have to turn over to the IRS of my hard earned. You're getting mad, but rain is wet. You know what? I need you to not, I need you to have some sympathy. Okay. Cause I'm back there in the office making 80 spadrillion products and they get more of my money than anything does. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna just let that go. Next up is medical and it's getting $10 this week. And we've got 11 in the envelope and 250 in the bank. Hopefully this one can relax for a little bit, you think? Car expenses is up next. It is getting $15 this week. 10 and a five. This one is one that builds up nicely. Yes. Um, now in car expenses, we have 100, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 66, 67, and 68. So 168? Wow. Mm -hmm. That needs a condensing if for no other reason than to get rid of the 800 fives that are sitting in there. Goodness. Home maintenance is up next. It's getting $15 as well. Now in home maintenance, we've got 50, 70, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, and 22. So 122 in home maintenance. Household is up next. It is going to be getting $15 this week, and I did two fives and five ones. Why do you do that? I don't know. Math is overly complicated. <laughs> Oh Other people have change, you know. I'm just laughing at myself. Anyways, now in household, we've got 5, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Hey, that's good, though. <laughs> is it? You know what? Toiletries is up next. It's getting 20, and I bet you can't guess what I did. <laughs> 10 $2 bills. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no. 
A ten five and five ones. Thank you very much. Nine two dollar bills. A <laughs> dollar. Ninety five pennies and a buffalo nickel. Uh, I was going to say, well, at least you make yourself laugh, but I'm laughing too. Anyway, now in toiletries, we've got 20, 35, 45, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. Clothes is up next. It's getting $10. And now it's got 31. We can deplete an envelope, can't we? Girl. <laughs> Finance coach is up next. Oh, no, it's being skipped this week. It was stuffed last week, I think. It's got 25, 35, 45. Is that what you're showing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you put 10 in clothes, you said? Um, okay. HOA is up next. It's being stuffed. It's monthly stuff this week. It's getting 17. So, 10, 15, 16, 17, and now an HOA. We've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, and 7. Union dues is up next. It is being skipped. So it's not up next. These ones for the back of our high priority sinking funds only get stuffed once a month because the amount we're saving for is so small. But my husband likes a budget, a budget balance check anytime I touch an envelope, whether or not I actually stuff it. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 5, 100, 5, 6, and 7. Just making sure there's no embezzlement going on. <laughs> you know me, just embezzling left and right. I'm worried about me. Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, and right now, we actually don't. We have more than $1,000 in our emergency fund. If you guys happen to be new to my channel, um, at first I started my channel to showcase our debt payoff process. Um, we just paid off all of our consumer debt last month. What, when is it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, last month. So now we are saving a six month, um, six months of expenses in an emergency fund. And so we are going to update you guys on the progress of that um, as we go, just like we did with our day, debt payoff. So once a quarter. And actually, somebody just asked in the comments recently, will you be celebrating milestones just like you did with the debt payoff? So when we were paying off our debt, we would celebrate every time we paid a specific credit card off. And I think we should. Yeah. So what do you think our thresholds should be? Because. Every month. Every month we have saved up. Oh, okay. I was not receiving what you were saying in the proper I way. Know. I thought you were saying like once a month we go out and celebrate. So you mean once we have one month of expenses saved up, then we go on a date. Oh, is I mean, that? That might, be, that might be more frequently than, anyway, I don't know. We'll have to think about it. We actually need to find out. What one month? What one month actually is? Well, no, we we settled on thirty six thousand, so thirty six divided by six. No, I understand that, but anyway, go ahead. That might be high. We'll discuss it. We'll discuss it, and then we'll update you guys. But, anyways, so I won't be saying what is in our emergency fund because then it will ruin my quarterly updates. We can't have that. Low priority sinking funds is up next, and first up is dying out. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's getting $10 today. Ow. Oh, sorry. Now in time out, we've got 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Haircuts is up next, and it's getting 15 this week. So 10 and a 5. And now in haircuts, we've got 100, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 90, 91, and 92. That was 15 it got? Yes. Okay. It's got 192. Is that what you're showing? Yes. Okay. And I made my daughter's haircut appointment. I ended up decide just deciding to take her to my hairdresser, even though my hairdresser is not a curly hair specialist, because her not getting her haircut to me was more daunting than, or I don't know, I guess daunting is the right word than like 
trying to find her a hair, a curly hair specialist. It was just too much. So her appointment is toward the end of this month and I'm excited and she's excited actually. So anyways, moving right along. Home decor is not being stuffed. It only gets stuffed with side income. And so I think it's just only got $6 in here. Dates, on the other hand, is getting a stuff. It's getting $10 this week. Priorities, you know. <laughs> um, and now in dates, we have 100, 50, 200, 20, 35, 45. So 245 in dates. Mm -hmm. Nice. We can go on our debt payoff celebration sooner than I was thinking. That's right. We're just going to do a date night. We're not going to do like a weekend or anything. I think some people were suggesting that or asking if we were going to do that. And we, we ain't got the, <laughs> we don't have an emergency fund yet. Yeah. It's just not in the cards right now, but it's a nice thought though. Yeah. Um, his is up next. This is my husband spending money. He gets $15 this week. I didn't do anything funky with yours. Oh, oh geez. Just dropped it. And now in your spending, you've got 50, 100, 50, 70, 85, 95, 201, plus the 750 you have in the bank, you stinker. My envelope, on the other hand, mm -hmm. empty. <laughs> I am getting $34 this week. So 20, 30, one, two, three, four. I don't have any plans to spend any money anytime soon, so I've got that going for me. And that's all I've got, $34. Pretty Hair is getting $8 this week. And this one is low, low, low because, oh, because I just got my hair cut last week. So we are starting again from the beginning, which I don't mind. Anyways, now in Pretty Hair, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I stuffed this one just enough to pay for my haircut and the tip for my hair. So you have $2 left over? I yeah. did, yeah. Family Fun is up next. Oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, I'm not, the, I'm not, I'm not stuffing it this week. We all, I'll give it a count. 20, 45, 55, 61. So 61 in Family Fun. That's not bad actually. Mm -hmm. Um, and house project is also being skipped because it is only being stuffed now with Etsy and YouTube pay. It is not coming from our main budget, but we've got one fifty five sixty plus five hundred, so six sixty. And house project. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> We're still saving for screen doors. Feels like a never ending endeavor. Holiday sinking funds is last up for the day. And first up is gifts. It's getting $10 this week. And now in gifts, we've got 20, 30, 45. This is where you might have some confusion. So in order to fund some of the foods that I bought for Father's Day, I pulled money from Parte. So I just took 50 from Parte and put it in grocery. Okay. Yeah. Like 50 actual dollars? 50 actual dollars. Well, you haven't stuffed party, Parte yet. Yeah, I'm stuffing it now. Okay. It's getting $10 this week. And now in Parte, we've got 50, 60, 70, Whoops, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 11. It's not very complicated what you did there. Good. Well, and for me, it was justified because yeah. I wanted you to have yummy foods. Um, Valentine's Day is being skipped. This one only gets stuffed once a month because it's such a small amount. It's got 20. Is that what you're showing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Easter is up next. It's getting its monthly stuff. It's getting $7. And now in Easter, we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Vacation is getting $155 this week. 
your brow is so furrowed, it's not even funny. Okay. It's from like paying back and all that sort of stuff. It'll all come out in the wash. Yep. So 150 and five. And now on vacation, we've got 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 35, 40, 5, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 364. Because remember the 120 that my sister, that we transferred in for my sister paying us back? It'll all, it'll all make sense mm -hmm. when we do all of our reconciling. Um, back to school is getting $10 this week. And now in back to school, we've got 100, 50, 70, 90, 200, 5, 10. You just interrupted my counting. Yeah. Okay. 150, 70, 90, 200, 5, 6, and 7. Mm -hmm. Yay. All right. Divert we diverted money. This was like the best decision. But this is the nice thing. I will say this in case you happen to be new to this like way of budgeting, when you're paying super duper close attention to your budget like this and you get some maybe unexpected influx of money like tax money or in the case of us, we got an escrow check. Um, it really gives you a good perspective and a good handle on what could maybe use a little bit of extra supplementing and back to school was one of those for us. And um, so that's what we did. We diverted some of our escrow check money toward back to school. And it was such a good decision because we were sort of like, how are we going to pay for these, um, what you call it, school supplies? Anyways, um, Halloween is not being stuffed. It only gets stuffed once a month. It's got 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, and 2. Thanksgiving is getting $15 this week. This one gets stuffed about every other week. And now in Thanksgiving, we've got 100, 50, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 11, and 12. That makes me feel good. I think we also diverted some escrow money toward Thanksgiving, didn't we? Because I was like, I think, I think we need more. Mm -mm. I added something in here okay. for something. Christmas is getting $75 this week, and I think it's our final stuff of the day. So 50, 70, and five. Yes. Now on Christmas, we've got 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 318 in Christmas plus the $500 that we have sitting in our high yield savings account. Oh no, we have more than 500, 1250? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's, I, I don't know how I didn't know that we saved that much. Um, the pool is obviously not being stuffed. We've got $9 left in it after buying our pool membership for this summer. Totally worth the expense, if I do say so myself. Girl, same. I know, right? And then I'm gonna just take these two little dollars that are sitting over here and add them to the dollar savings challenge. We don't count this one, maybe like once a quarter-ish, but maybe not even that. <laughs> just cause it's been kind of low these days cause I only pull it from change from cash transactions. So, you know, I'm not pressed about it. Anyways, that's gonna do it for us today. That is the end of our cash stuffing for this week. The, what was this? The second week of June? The second cash stuffing of June? Yeah. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I would love it so, so very much if you would give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I'm actually gonna be back here with you guys on Wednesday with some bonus content. I've been asked before to post a video showing my um, cash repurposing process after I do a weekly check-in. And so I filmed that for you guys. And so it's going to be up on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you then. And until then, I hope you guys have a lovely week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.